afternoon. How's everyone? <laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2019 Medler View Elementary Dare graduation. Um, it's been a great year. These kids uh, did a great job. I had a lot of fun uh, working with them. Uh, I'd like to start off by thanking the city of Miamisburg, the Miamisburg City Schools, and the Miamisburg Police Department for their support of the DARE program uh, because without it, today would not be possible. Um, I'd also like to thank all the fourth graders who are here today. Um, I look forward to seeing all you guys next year in DARE class, and I thank you for coming. I'd also like to thank all the parents and relatives who've joined us today. Uh, like I said before, it's been a real joy working with your kids. Uh, it's a great group, and we had a lot of fun. Uh, some of the things we discussed in, in D.A.R.E. class uh, was the dangers of alcohol and tobacco. We talked about good decision making and how to resist peer pressure. Uh, we talked about the dangers or how to use safely uh, prescription medicines and over-the-counter medicines. And we also talked a little bit about bullying and being good citizens. The goal for you fifth graders is to take the information we talked about this year and use it. Uh, especially as you enter middle school and high school and you encounter some difficult situations, think back to some of the things we talked about in D.A.R.E. class. Uh, I'd also like to recognize some of the people who've joined us today uh, to congratulate you on your accomplishment. Uh, we have from the Myersburg Police Department, the Chief of Police, John Sedlak. From the Myersburg Municipal Court, we have the Judge, Robert Reddick. Also from the Myersburg Courts, we have the Corker Courts, Amanda Zinni. From the Myersburg City Schools, we have your superintendent, Dr. David Vail. And of course, you all know your principal, Mrs. Woods. <laughs> A few of our guests would like to say a few words to you, uh, and we'll begin with Judge Reddick. Normally, they don't begin with me. They begin with the mayor. <laughs> Believe me, I don't need a microphone, okay. but I can hold it. <laughs> they may need to take it. The mayor does a good job. I'm going to miss him. Uh, this is his last year of doing this. Uh, he always shows up and attends every single D.A.R.E. graduation. He'd be here today, but he's a little under the weather. and. He asked me to apologize for not being able to be here. I've got to recognize Joe McKenzie uh, for the Miami Valley Cable Council. He shows up and videotapes every single D.A.R.E. graduation so that you can watch yourself, get your D.A.R.E. certificate, and hear the speeches on TV all through the summer. I don't know how long it runs, but I've heard it loops over and over and over. So on days where I wear the same shirt and tie, they go, does he not own a second shirt and tie? But uh, I try my best to uh, make all of these because I value D.A.R.E. I think it's a very important program. And one of the things I really like about it is the parental involvement. Anytime you have adults, it may not be parents, it may be grandparents, it could be siblings, it could be aunts and uncles. But when you're here supporting your child in this, I, I really value it. We hear about 12,500 cases a year in the Miamisburg Municipal Court. We're extremely busy. And lately, the, I guess I'll call it the war on heroin and methamphetamines gotten really, really bad. We've lost a lot of people to death. We developed Narcan. I use Vivitrol a lot. It keeps you from being able to get high. Today, I had to take a 19-year-old lady into custody. I spoke at Mound on Tuesday, and they asked me a lot of questions, and some of them I couldn't even answer because they weren't appropriate for fifth graders. This lady was 20, month, 20, months, 20 weeks pregnant. She tested positive for meth, amphetamines, and opiates. And she wondered why I was taking, she's 19, and she wonders why I'm taking her into custody. Well, I don't have any choice. She'll hurt herself or her child. I have to do that. Now, I don't want to take people that have drug problems into custody, but I just, someone just called the court today. On my way here, my, my judicial assistant, Ms. DeGroe, is an attorney, got her law license, passed the bar. But she called because somebody that really complained when I locked him up because he was harmfully involved with methamphetamine called her and said, you know, I didn't really get back into my right mind.
until I had been there 20 days. And he said, that's just when the fog from my meth addiction started to clear. So what I'm telling you is, you're gonna have friends of yours that may not do the right thing. It may be a relative. It may be someone real close to you. Would you try to reach out to that person later in life? Now you're all, do you have clap out things here where everybody claps you out of the building on the last day? You're gonna go into middle school, aren't you? All of, you know, all the fifth grade. Well, you're gonna to try to enter a different environment. And that new environment may be a situation where you're tempted. It won't be the hard light of day here in an auditorium with adults and people around. It's probably maybe in a basement or a car or at night where someone may want you to do something that in your heart of hearts you know is wrong and inappropriate. What I am asking, pleading, and begging for you to do is what you know to be the right thing. It's been my experience that normally the right thing is the hard one. Do the hard thing. Do the right thing and say no. Now, you've been born in a great place. The mayor always says, great things are happening in Miamisburg, Ohio. He's right, they are. And if you just continue doing what you're doing, don't do drugs, you're gonna have a great life. You have to not do anything dumb. And as long as you do that, things are gonna turn out well for you. Now, to be honest, they had to cut me off yesterday at Mound because I could talk about this all the time because I assume that every one of you that do the right things, one less person that I'm going to have to see. And to be candid, I'd like to learn to golf again. I haven't held a golf club in a decade. You know, I used to harass the mayor when I was an attorney. Dick, could you give me a couple passes to Pipestone? You know, I'd kind of like to take my dad out there and goof around on Sunday. And Dick could go, I can't give you passes to Pipestone, Bob. You make more money than me. Just buy, just buy, take your dad to Pipestone. Now the mayor asks me to go on golf outings he has with people, and I don't have time. So you need to try your best to keep doing what you're doing. I look forward to hearing all the speeches. I, I really enjoy those. So good luck and congratulations. I'll let you hear from uh, the police chief. And next we have Chief Sedlak. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you, Judge, and thank you, Doug, Officer Doug. Hello, graduates. Hi, hi, yeah, that's good. Hello, parents. See, that's how it's done, graduates. Parents, thank you for being here. So, who's graduating uh, from DARE today? I'd like to, I see shirts, but I want to see hands. Who's graduating? Looks like just about everybody in a shirt, a DARE shirt. Okay, that's good, that's good. So that tells me a few things. That tells me that you went through the program, the D.A.R.E. program with Officer Doug, but it also tells me that you've learned the lessons that he has given you during D.A.R.E. And that's the important part. It's not sitting in a D.A.R.E. class, it's learning from a D.A.R.E. class. And the reason why, the judge has already told you, as you're getting older, you're gonna gain more freedom, right? I mean, you have more freedom today as a fifth grader than you did when you were first graders, don't you think? Isn't that true? And you'll probably have a little more freedom when you're a sixth grader and then a seventh and then eventually you work your way to high school. More freedom then too, don't you think? Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Well, as you gain that, gain that freedom, and you're away from your parents longer, away from teachers longer, doing your own thing with your friends and stuff, well, it just makes sense that you have to make more decisions. Doesn't that, doesn't that make sense? You're gonna make more decisions, and they're gonna be important decisions. Not every one of them. Some decisions might be, do I have the vanilla ice cream or do I have the chocolate ice cream? 
but you're going to be sick, you're going to be facing circumstances that you've not had to face at this part of your life yet. And it's just a fact of life. And that's why we have the D.A.R.E. program to prepare you as you're getting more freedom, as you're getting ready to go to middle school. That's a critical, critical time, a time in your lives that you'll be getting even more freedom and you're going to be facing more decisions and making more decisions. That's why you've had these classes and these lessons now in this part of your life. You know, as you get older, probably not too many people, not too many graduates here probably have cell phones. I don't know. I, I'm thinking not too many yet. Certainly as you get older, you'll have more. And eventually all of you will have cell phones. I, I've got two of them. I really don't want one of them, but I got two of them. And with those things, come a lot of communication, and it's not talking to people generally. It's Instagramming and Facebooking and Twittering and all sorts of stuff like that, social media. And it's amazing. You'll find that if you're facing somebody, you're an arm's length away from them, you're looking them in the eyes, People are usually very nice, very interpersonal, right? They're personable. They're not calling you names, they're not doing things. But it's so amazing if you separate distance, get further away, they're not in front of you, and it's through a computer or it's through a cell phone or something like that. I don't know what happens sometimes. But people will say some of the worst things and they'll say things they would never tell you to your face. And it can be really bad. So much of lives are focused on social media and computers and cell phones and the such. So much of your lives these days that it really becomes an important part of your life. And when you're faced with stuff like that, it can be very troubling. It can be very hurtful. And it can make you really sad. It can make you feel horrible. The important thing, and I'm sure Officer Doug has talked to you about it, but if something like that starts happening to you, here's the thing you gotta remember, you gotta know this. The sooner you go to somebody, somebody other than yourself, who can help you, who can get that to stop, the sooner it will stop, and the less sad and the less bad you're gonna feel. So if that's a teacher, if it's a principal, if it's a police officer, if it's your parents, if it's your grandparents, whomever it is, they can take, they can take care of those things very quickly and very easily. And it's not going to cause any problem for you. In fact, it's going to cure problems for you because the longer you go and don't tell somebody and just keep it inside for whatever reason, you don't want to be a snitch or you don't want to tell somebody what's being said to you or whatever reason, the longer you do that, the worse it gets. So when it comes to bullying and that sort of stuff, I want you to remember, immediately, right when it starts, that's the time that you go to somebody who can help you take care of that. And it'll be taken care of very quickly, and life will be a lot better for you. As far as other decisions, judges talked about drugs, he's been pretty open about that. And I can tell you, I've been doing this for a long time, not as long as the mayor has, or maybe some others, but I've been coming to these D.A.R.E. graduations for 17 years now. I've seen a lot of people come through these hallways, go all the way through high school and graduate. And I can tell you, 
Many of the DARE graduates do really, really well in life. They go on to college. Some of them have great jobs right now, even, even starting to raise their own families. Good lives, but not all of them. So there have been some people that I know, that Officer Doug knows, that have been sitting right here, right here, right where you're at, same spots, wearing very similar DARE graduation shirts. We've seen them, we've arrested them, the judge has had them in his courtroom, they've been to jail, lots of bad things. It can get a lot worse than those things, believe me, a lot worse. And we've seen that too. And the difference between those few that have been in this D.A.R.E. program and who went on to those things, and the many who have been through the D.A.R.E. program and live really good lives because they learned the lessons is exactly that, learning the lessons and applying those lessons. You got to apply them. If you have a tool and it remains in your toolbox and you need a hammer and you got a hammer and it's in that toolbox, but you don't open the toolbox and grab the hammer, the nail doesn't get hammered. Never does, even though you've had the hammer with you and you've had the tool the whole time. You still need it because you never used it, you never applied it. Same thing with these lessons. When the time comes and you have to use them, those are your tools. You gotta take them out and you got to put them into application then. If you do that and you do that consistently with each moment that you need to do that, you'll go on and you'll have happy lives and you know through the rest of school and beyond. And if you don't and you get hung up with the wrong crowd and you don't stand up for yourself and you kind of go with the with the group and it's not a good group and th bad things can happen. And that's what we don't want for you. You're going to be going on summer vacation here pretty soon, I understand. How much longer? Five days. Well, you have a great summer vacation. Just remember, you might need to apply one of the lessons you learned in D.A.R.E. during that vacation or as you enter into sixth grade. Just be ready. You'll know the moment when it comes, if it does come, you'll know the moment Apply those lessons, Officer Doug, Doug taught you, your teachers taught you, your parents, I'm sure, and other family members teach you. Apply them when you need them, and you'll have a great summer. That's what we want for you, and a great life afterwards. So enjoy your summer vacation in five days. Thank you. And Dr. Vail. Thank you, Officer Sheritz. On behalf of the Board of Education, the administration, all the staff of Minesburg City Schools, I want to congratulate you guys for completing your D.A.R.E. program. What a great accomplishment, and I'm sure you'll use that as you go on in your life. Uh, as the uh, judge and the chief said, uh, Mayor Church loves being at these programs. He sees us as a great feather in the cap of Minesburg City Schools and Minesburg City to provide this program for you. And so we we'll certainly miss him. We'll pass along that you missed him as well. I do want to say that, uh, I'm sorry I'm going to call you out, Ms. Collins, but our uh, council member, Michelle Collins back there, who, barring any uh, catastrophe, will be our next mayor. And I think she's here taking notes on what she wants to do next year at their graduation. Uh, you've had some great teachers along the way in your life, a lot of them sitting back there. Moms, dads, older brothers and sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles, whoever it may be. You have some adult mentors teaching you right from wrong, good and bad, and you learn those lessons well. Then you came to school and you learned those other lessons, reading, writing, arithmetic, all those things. You had some great teachers here, Ms. Bosselman, Ms. Osborne, teaching those things as well. We considered Officer Sheriff one of our staff members. He teaches you other things, and we talked about some of those, so I won't talk about all those. But you've got those life choices those decisions to make. And now you know 
how to make those choices, what you need to do to make those choices work for you. Okay? You're not in it alone. You've got a great support staff. All the people around you, the people in DARE here, the people went through DARE at other schools, they've gone through the same programs. You've got your teachers, you've got your parents, you've got your aunts and uncles and grandparents out there to support you as well. So don't think you're there alone. If something comes up, reach out. As we say, if you see something, say something and get it taken care of. We certainly want the best for you. I know that you guys rang. I don't know who smiled bigger when they said there was five days left, the parents, the staff, or the students, but uh, we'll, take a, we'll take a vote on that later. But we want to congratulate you on uh, getting through the DARE program. Wish you a great summer. Good luck next year in sixth grade, and congratulations. One of the last things the students do in the D.A.R.E. program is they uh, not only write a D.A.R.E. report, but they also present it to their classmates. Uh, we've selected a few to share their reports today, and we will begin with Nolan Talby. Good afternoon. Welcome to Metal Review's fifth grade D.A.R.E. graduation. We're glad to see you here today. My name is Nolan Tolby. I'm in Mrs. Osborne's class. This is my D.A.R.E. essay. D.A.R.E. was an important thing this year to me because in the future, I can be prepared for when someone asks me to take illegal or addictive products like alcohol and how to say no to those products. Alcohol can be very dangerous to somebody's body because alcohol can weaken your heart muscle. Alcohol can also change the way you act by making you lose coordination or making you lose self-control. The most dangerous thing to do with alcohol is mixing it with medication. Teens should not use alcohol because it could hurt them because they are so growing. Now do you see how dangerous alcohol can be? Please drink responsibly. There have been more than 70,000 deaths each year from alcohol for many years straight in the USA. Resistance strategies can help people be confident to say no to someone asking you if you can do something illegal or unhealthy. You can avoid them so you do not get in trouble. You should always trust your friends so if someone does ask you for unhealthy or illegal products, you can have somebody to back up your decisions. Strength in numbers is a great way to resist. Walking away could be, be dangerous because they could hurt you when you turn your back to them. Officer Doug taught me that you can resist anything unhealthy or illegal to your body by saying no with a reason or excuse. One excuse could be my parents would kill me. <laughs> One thing I learned in there is please you can use the other strategies. You can use changing the subject to playing or doing something. I can use DARE in the future to help when I get stopped and get asked to use alcohol or something illegal or unhealthy for my body. I know not to use it and how to say no. Thank you so much, Officer Doug. Good job. Next, we have Sophia Stocker. Sophia Stalker. I am in Miss Bossman's class. I am excited to share my D.A.R.E. essay with you. D.A.R.E. has been a great part of fifth grade. It has taught me so many things. Alcohol can be bad for you. Alcohol slows down your body and brain. When you mix alcohol with medicine, it is dangerous. There are at least 75,000 alcohol-related deaths each year. Too much alcohol can lead to coma and death. Teen bodies are still growing, so alcohol affects them more than, adult, than adults. Stress can happen anytime or anywhere. Stress is any pressure or strain felt in a situation or an event. When I am feeling stressed, I feel very angry or overwhelmed. You can relieve stress by reading a book or taking a deep breath. Sometimes when you are feeling stressed, you can be overwhelmed, angry, and embarrassed. When you are stressed, you might throw something, your palms are sweaty, and you could be mean. You also could yell. Dare how will be import important in the future. In situations, I will know what to do and say. For example, if someone asks me to have some alcohol, I will say no and walk away. 
Thank you, Officer Doug, for a great year in DARE. Next, we have Erica Moe. My name is Erica Moe. I am new to Medler View this year, and I am in Mrs. Osborne's class. Here's my DARE essay. DARE has been a great part of fifth grade because DARE has taught me to be confident and help in terrible situations. What DARE means is to define, assess, report, evaluate. It is important to know. It is important to know because someone could really hurt you. When in a situation, you can use a DARE decision-making model. It helps when you respond, when you make the responsible choice. Think of the decisions you make will show if you follow the DARE decision-making model. Responding to pressure means to respond to difficult decisions. People can see signs of pressure like sweaty palms and a red face. Remembering to respond to pressure will also help while facing confrontation. Also remember to think of positive thoughts. Responding to pressure will be good in the future if you know how to handle it. There is important for the future because it has taught us so many helpful ways to protect ourselves. Thanks to Officer Doug. Next, we have Cassidy Tempe. Thanks again for coming to DARE graduation. We really appreciate all the support from my family and friends. My name is Cassidy Tempe, and I'm in Ms. Bossman's class. Do you have a DARE class in your school? In DARE class, we learned so many great things. One of the topics we learned is what one is I find most helpful, resistance strategies. There are so many situations where you don't know what to do. Resistance strategies can solve the problem. One strategy, if you know where people are drinking, smoking, or doing drugs, stay away. Then you'll never be pressured into doing anything you don't want to. Another strategy is strength in numbers. If someone tries to pressure you and your friends all say no, then the pressure will be on them and not you. The last resistance strategy is saying no and giving in a reason why. When you give reason why, you can just walk away, then the pressure will not work because you're pressuring them back. Bullying and reporting bullying is also an important topic we learned about in DARE class. The first step is know the five W's. Who is being bullied, what happened, when did it happen, where did it happen, and why did it happen. Sometimes you might not know why someone is being bullied, then report the bullying to an adult you trust. Next, the adult will handle the bullying without getting you into it. After that, the bullying will hopefully stop. In the future, I will dare you to resist drugs and violence. Thank you, Author Doug. We appreciate everything you do for us. Congratulations. Thank you. All the students did a great job on the bear reports and those sort of perfect example of that. Uh, the last group of people I'd like to thank are the ones that make my job as the DARE officer very easy, and that's the staff here at Medler View Elementary, and that begins with your principal, Mrs. Woods. And your fifth grade teachers, Mrs. Bossman. And Mrs. Osborne. And now it's time for you to receive your certificates, and we'll begin with Mrs. Bossman's class. I get the pleasure of having Officer Doug come into my science class each week. Uh, the kids really look forward to it. He does a phenomenal job. Um, I think his true calling was to be a teacher. <laughs> Perhaps he'll choose that for his second career. So we'll begin with my class, um, and we'll start with Omar Al-Khaswani. <laughs> Logan Crotty. <laughs> Madison Dixon. <laughs> Skylar Dalherniak. <laughs> Ashton Eldridge. Lindsay Gilmore. Cooper Hochstein. 
Emma Ergens. Ashton Jones. Rebecca Kinder. Keenan Kinney. Kira Kinney. Ava Lotzpe. Bella Martin. Dominic Meyer. Tyler Miller. Jamil Shalash. Aaron Schock. Mackenzie Stanley. Sophia Stocker. Cassidy Timpy. Reagan Toole. Caitlin Wingert. Marwa Yesen. And Carly Honius. Thank you. <laughs> and now Mrs. Osborne's class. Thank you, Officer Doug, for all the positive influence you have on our kids and all that time and effort you put into to teaching them. Um, Maddie Abner. <laughs> Troy Aliata. <laughs> Austin Brown. D'Angela Camp. James Childs. Lily Clooney, Reese Dickey, Andrew Haas, Katie Henderson, Max Horton, JC Hurt, Lucas Jackson. Ava Lanehart, Aiden Long, Whitley Malott, Kaylin Mays, Madison Porter, Edwin Roman, Luke Schultz, Nolan Talby, Victoria Vo, and Erica Mo. Yep, thank you. Uh, the last thing we'll do as part of the D.A.R.E. graduation is I'll show you, show you a short little video of classes here.
Students, have a great summer. Uh, be safe, and I look, look forward to seeing both of you next year. Uh, graduates in sixth grade and fourth graders and fifth graders, thanks again for coming.